Ah, USB. One of the wonderful conveniences of modern life. You just plug it into any one of the similar looking ports and things just work. Well, most of the time anyway. But whatever happened to those old school massive things we used to use to connect printers and hard drives? Well, older standards like IEE 1284 and IDE cables had so many pins and took up so much physical space because they communicated in parallel, meaning that they could send and or receive multiple bits of information simultaneously. By contrast, new school interfaces like USB, SAS, SATA, and individual PCI Express lanes are serial, which, fun fact, is actually what the S in each acronym stands for. These ones can only send or receive one bit at a time. But wait a minute. Why on earth would that be better? I mean, when they close all but one lane on the freeway, that's a bad thing. Well. Popular parallel standards had a number of limitations that slowed down their real-world speed. These ports depended on all of the data lines sending the correct data simultaneously. So trying to push more and more data through a parallel port per second means that it's harder and harder for those lines to stay synchronized, meaning that as you increased the data rate, the port actually had to slow things down and wait for all of the signals to match up. Another phenomenon called crosstalk also complicated matters. Crosstalk is basically electrical interference between data lines that are close together, and it becomes more pronounced when you add more lines than again when you try to make them faster. Because a serial connection like USB only has one data line in each direction, crosstalk isn't nearly as much of an issue. This means that although serial connections can only fire off one bit at a time, the rate of fire can be made much higher, especially as electronics manufacturing in general has improved. So think of an automatic machine gun shooting tons of bullets per second, one at a time, versus a break barrel shotgun that can fire lots of pellets at once, but has a much longer reload delay. Parallel connections also had the disadvantage of using lots of pins to support transmitting multiple bits at once. And that meant that the connectors themselves were more prone to damage. Think about how easy it was to bend printer pins or an IDE header on an old motherboard. Modern serial links typically don't use protruding pins, making standards like USB and SATA suitable for, uh, many more insertions, as they say. But Linus, hold on a minute. What about my fancy new graphics card that uses 16 PCI Express lanes at once? Isn't that parallel? Well, not really. Each PCI Express lane has its own clock signal, so they're not synchronized with each other. The data is simply transmitted down each lane in a more independent fashion, leaving the card itself to sort out the information, which doesn't take very long, meaning that PCI Express speeds scale very well as you add more lanes, which you can see in high-speed PCI Express devices like solid-state drives and video cards. Pretty incredible, right? Well, that may be. But as far as one bit at a time serial technology has come, I wouldn't bother trying to eat your bowl of frosted flakes one at a time. Do you really want your ISP keeping an eye on what it is that you're doing online? Use TunnelBear. TunnelBear VPN is the simple to use VPN that lets you tunnel through one of 20 different countries allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as though you were in that country. They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. They've also got a Chrome extension. That one was upside down. There you go, I fixed it. And it is so easy to use that your mom can do it. You just press one button and 
boom, your connection gets encrypted and there's no messing around. They've got a top rated privacy policy and they don't log user activity and you can try it out for free with 500 megs of data and no credit card required at the link below, tunnelbear.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, leave a comment with future video suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other channels and I guess that's pretty much it. I will see you again at the next, fast as possible, as soon as possible. It's gonna be as great as possible.